if you paid attention to any of my work, you know that I do photography on the side and I enjoy it. I love meeting new people. I love going to events that I probably would never go to if it weren't for me having a camera. But with every positive thing, you know there's always gonna be negative. So I present to you the five ways to annoy your photographer. One, assume a coordinator role that has already been filled. Usually when I do like a wedding, there's always a family member, typically a godmother or an aunt who assumes the role of event coordinator, even though there's one already there. This person has never been at a planning meeting, nor have I seen them ever, but they always have a list of instructions for me and they want me to listen to them over the people that hired me. They typically say things like, at 2.30, I need you to be at the reception hall ready to take pictures. Well, hello, stranger lady. Well, that's funny. Uh, the schedule of events that I got from the wedding planner and the couple says at 2.30, I should be in the courtyard for pictures. So I'm gonna stick with this. Girl, if you don't get your ass out of my face. Two, assume you're a consultant to the photographer. There's a person who feels they have a better eye than you or tells you how you should take your photos and what styling you should use. They say things like, don't you think it would be awesome if you went to each table and took pictures of everyone smiling and enjoying their time? Yes, I do think that's awesome. That's why I took those shots 20 minutes ago. Don't you think it would be awesome if you showed up on time? Three, block the photographer with your mobile devices. So everybody has a cell phone with a camera on it now, I hope. And I respect that and I understand it comes with the territory. So if we're at a wedding, understand that you should not block the professional who's there to take photos of the couple. Your Facebook post can wait. To all the people with first generation iPads or tablets period, who instructed you to bring that big ass device to an event to take pictures on? You're obstructing the view of everyone, including me. Four. Attempt to turn a celebration into your own personal photo shoot. At almost every event that I have shot at, there's always a person or multiple people who become picture hogs. They're in every picture that you see. They constantly want pictures of themselves. They want pictures with the family. They just love the pictures. And I understand it's a great event. You probably haven't dressed up in a long time and you want to remember this. But your name is not on the cake or the check that I am cashing. It's not about you, boo. If you want to schedule something with me, here's my card. We'll do it at another date. Or take your ass to Sears. Five, compete with the photographer. It never fails that there's always a uncle or dad or somebody who just bought a DSLR camera and it's probably newer than mine. And what they do is they'll come up to me and then they try to size me up. They say things like, how much you pay for that lens? What do you have your f-stop on? Let's see who has the better photos at the end of the night. Listen, if you wanted to be the photographer today, that is on you. But I'm the one who was hired. If you wanted to audition your work, you're a few months too late, but I wish you the best of luck. Overall, I still love doing photography outside of the little annoyances that happen. So please don't be afraid of me. I'll still do your event, but just get your family together because they drive me crazy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please check out KevinDwayne.com and I'll see you next time for the next video. But luckily, Kelly Rowland came through with Chasing Destiny. If you aren't familiar with the show, it's a show on BET and what she's doing is she's putting together a girl group because there's a lack of girl groups 